Hey guys, welcome to another testing video. We currently have two 6600 XTs on the test bench and we are currently mining ETC. We are at 123 watts on average at the wall and I'll jump into the software and show you what we're getting in there. Alright guys, we're in the software side of things now. As you can see, we're pretty much the same as what we got on Ethereum. A uh, couple of small differences, I've changed some of the overclocks a little bit, just a little bit higher to allow for a higher hash rate slightly. Um, actually, it's pretty much the same hash rate, but yeah. Uh, adjusted them upwards ever so slightly uh, to make that hash rate a little bit more consistent. Um, and yeah, these are the clocks here, you can copy them if you like. Uh, remembering that if there's two numbers, it's because the first one is the top one or GPU zero and then the second one is GPU one so yeah pick whichever one is the card that you have or if you've got a different model of card just go with uh, the higher of the two figures and then uh, yeah give those numbers a go <coughs> so we'll look at the numbers we got first so Ethereum we got 123 watts at the wall minus the system uh, usage equals 106 divided by 2 is 53 so compared to what we did on Ethereum we are 0.5 of a watt up from that uh, but our second card is getting um, higher hash rate well both of them are getting slightly higher hash rate because <coughs> we're averaging between these two it's 31.4 uh, but now we're getting 31.6 between the two cards uh, just for that extra half watt which does make it slightly less efficient, but yeah. So between the two, we're now at 0.596, uh, which if we look over here, we were previously at 0.598, which is the average, the 31.4 mega hash at 52.5 watts. Uh, so yeah, we're basically the same as that. Um, it's about as close as it gets without saying it's actually the same. So yeah, comparing this across the board on ETC, uh, the 6600 XT performs extremely efficiently. It's very, very efficient, and it's even slightly better dollar per mega hash than the 6600 at the moment. But that all depends on what price you can get them at. Um, I've actually seen 6600s XTs going for as much as, well, as little as $385. Um, but yeah, oh, I've seen some 6600s go for 350 but these are in New Zealand dollars uh, so you'll yeah, have a different uh, price wherever you are yeah so pretty pretty good um, dollar per mega hash on actually both of these cards uh, and extremely good efficiency uh, the efficiency can only be matched by the 6000 series and the A2000 and the cmp 170hx and the cmp 220hx probably but we don't technically have figures for that yet and the jazz miners obviously uh, any asics pretty much are going to be more efficient but in terms of gaming gpus the 6000 series are the most efficient on uh, ethereum and etc uh, the 5700 xt just has incorrect numbers here it's it doesn't quite do that hash rate at 91 watts. Uh, 91 watts software, sure. 70 watts software, maybe, because some people will mod the cards and then the power and the software is way out the gate. Um, but in terms of wattage at the wall, they're usually around 100 watts from what I have uh, learned. Yeah, so <clears throat> almost at a 0.6, really great efficiency. These cards do really well um good price point so yeah if you're um looking for a good card that card that's going to be good on etc uh personally i probably wouldn't buy this card for etc because i'm not super bullish on etc after ethereum goes proof of stake um, just because i know there's a lot of people out there who have um jazz miners and they will be switching over to from Ethereum to ETC once Ethereum goes proof of stake. Uh, and also people with other ASICs that don't currently have the support for ETC. 
but I believe they will at some point because in theory it's just a uh, firmware or software update that needs to be implemented in order for the ASICs to be used on ETC instead of Ethereum. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good uh, performance. We're actually a bit over that, uh, the number that I had, what was it, 31.6. So we're a bit above that at the moment, 31.7 on average, uh, but it does swing back down to about 31.6. I've only had it up for 52 minutes, but considering I had this stable, uh, fully stable on lower millivolt settings, uh, I can be pretty certain that it's gonna be stable on these settings as well. And yeah, it's basically uh, the best gaming card efficiency that you can get with the exception of the 6600s which do a little bit better yeah that's pretty much all i got for this video so leave a like comment and subscribe to support the channel and have a great day see ya